Sugar Ray Robinson's on board, the middleweight boxing champion of the world. And Ray, how's that? What is it? The left hook <laughs> and the right cross? And something like that. How are they holding up? Well, pretty good, Jack. A little sore, but you know. <laughs> Ray, when you get uh, about ready to do a fight, uh, how many hours of training a day do you do? Well, it's uh, the whole day goes to training. In other words, from the time you get up in the morning, there's no canasta or gin rummy or bridge in the afternoon or anything like oh, that? Oh, yes. Uh, that's, uh, that's all helps your mental attitude. You have things of that sort, but uh, you can't break training. <laughs> no eating ice cream or doing anything like that you shouldn't be doing. What happens to that mental attitude, Ray, when you get in the ring? <laughs> well, <laughs> every man for himself then. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Although I've heard that the best fighter and the best boxer in the world is the guy who has uh, a calm quality about him. Well, that's true too, because once you get away from that, you lose all sense of skill. Ray, you're going over, uh, I believe, to uh, France in connection with the Damon Runyon Cancer Fund. Would you tell us a little about it? Well, uh, I'm very happy to say that I am a member of the Runyon Cancer Committee, along one of, with... One of its most active members. Is Walter Winchell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I am uh, taking over allocations amounting to $100,000, giving uh, amounts of $10,000 to each country. I'm going to uh, Norway, Switzerland, Ireland, Israel, Scotland, Rome, Italy, France, and, B and Brussels. Well, Ray, will this be the first time, then, that the proceeds of the Damon Runyon Cancer Fund have been um, uh, given to countries or cities abroad for use? No, I don't think so. I'm not too well uh, up on the... I, uh, I'm the not either. The contributions have been dispersed so far, but uh, I don't think that it has been, because within... One thing about the Runyon Cancer Fund is that every nickel that the people donate to us for cancer research goes for cancer research. We do not have an expense item I, at all. I know that for true. Not one penny comes out for any overhead or anything like that. That's right. Well, Ray, uh, let's get away from uh, the cancer fund for the moment and get back to that sport of boxing and ask you, who is the toughest guy you ever met so far? You know, I asked one uh, champion that, and he surprised me by telling me it was a guy that I never even heard of, a guy he met earlier in his career. Did you ever have that experience? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you three things, Jack. The toughest fight I had out of the ring was when my mother found out that I was fighting. <laughs> tell us about that. Come on now. <laughs> well, you know, my name not being uh, originally Robinson, my name really being Walter Smith, I changed my name, rather I borrowed a friend of mine's birth certificate, who was Ray Robinson, in order to obtain a boxing license. And uh, when I become of age, I'd hope to give him his birth certificate back and his name. And I started fighting as an amateur under the name of Ray Robinson. And thanks to God, I was very successful in popularizing his name, and I had to keep it. And, Is he uh, using Smith today? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for a long time, I sort of baffled my mother because of the different name. But one day, she looked in a paper and saw a picture of me, but it had Ray Robinson. And that's about the worst whipping I ever got. <laughs> oh. I think the, uh, the toughest fight I had had up until the time I boxed Lamar the last time was Fritz Zivic. But after that fight with Lamar, if I tell anyone he wasn't the toughest man I've ever fought, they think I'm crazy. <laughs> you did find him pretty tough. Oh, certainly. <laughs> Ray, thanks for that interesting anecdote about the early days of your career. And have a good trip. Lots of good luck. All right. Bye, Ray. All right, Jack.